April 26, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I had a really good day today. I hope you did the same. Um, let me begin by saying the goose is back, of course, uh, by popular demand. I do like it. Um, so let's start in Fukushima, Japan. Uh, nothing official out today, but there is a video I'd like you to watch. Uh, Leek Spinner put out a video today talking about number four Fukushima reactor. They are putting way more water in the, the, the cooling tanks for the spent fuel rods than is actually being registered. So there's definitely a major leak problem going on in the number four Fukushima. Again, I will attach his video below. Um, that way you can kind of check it out for yourself. Over to, let's headline, out of the Philippines, the water temperature in the main crater of the Tal volcano increased over the weekend, a sign that the volcano may be about to erupt. Vulcan volcanologists raised the level 2 over Tal earlier this month. A bulletin released by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology said the temperature of the crater waters rose from 30.5 degrees to 31.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, that is a big jump. That is a lot of water to increase that much temperature uh, that quickly. And they're talking about magma movements and, and flows and all of that. So uh, the Tal Volcano might be just about ready to pop. Let's start over with the RSOE today. They have several stories going on. Of course, um, the ongoing uh, flooding in Colombia, Brazil, the flooding in Canada, uh, the northwest United States, uh, the Ohio Valley, more floods coming out of uh, Stillwell, Oklahoma. They're describing a catastrophic flood event. Um, just torrential rain. They're saying this, the rain's pretty much nonstop. Um, severe weather coming out of New Zealand. They have a major storm. They even reported a tornado, or they called a mini twister. Uh, apparently, this. Twister came through and up, uprooted a bunch of trees and threw them around, and um, that's uh, not an everyday thing in New Zealand, much like the Midwest of the United States. Again, we have uh, tornadoes reported out of Dallas. Um, I was just watching the Weather Channel. Arkansas is getting hammered right now as I as I record this video, uh, heading off. Uh, flooding in the state of Missouri, Popular Bluff. Uh, there's a levee on the Black River that uh, might be about to uh, collapse. They've started evacuating people. Um, let's see what else is going on. We've got a nuclear event in uh, Iran. Apparently the, the computer virus uh, was detected in a few laptops and they went ahead and uh, pitched a major fit about that. Uh, they're saying none of the systems were affected but uh, some of the personal computers were. And what else? Uh, still got the fires going on in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, um, and uh, that's about it new on the RSOE. Over to earthchangesscott.net. They've got a story <laughs> for the channels out of St. Louis, uh, Make A Electric in a Dutch sense. Napoleano Duncan coming to St. Louis for earthquake drill. Two members of President Barack Obama's cabinet will be in St. Louis this, th this Thursday morning to lead the nation in the first of its kind multi-state earthquake drill. Now the New Madrid fault line and uh, all its craziness and uh, they're just dealing with floods and, and all kinds of crazy tornadoes and right now. So that story goes on. Uh, they're saying more than 2.7 million Americans across 2016 schools and 82 colleges, universities will participate in this drill. So your kids are going to play earthquake drill. Uh, Pakistan 5.0 magnitude earthquake rocks Jammu and Kashmir. Um, they're not reporting any major damage, but um, everybody definitely felt it. Excuse me. Uh, it's a very active region. Out of Florida, U.S. officials determine duck plague is killing ducks in Crescent Lake. 
apparently 25 ducks have been found dead and several dead fish. Um, they did some studies and they, they're saying it was from um, the feces, the, the, the duck poop, uh, spreading this virus or this plague, they're calling it. And uh, that's what's killing the birds. They're worried about losing every, uh, all the, the birds on the, the lake. U.S. Missouri flooding forces evacuations and closes an airport. I mentioned this a little earlier. Police were going house to house in part of popular Bluff, Missouri on Monday, ordering people to evacuate ahead of an imminent catastrophic failure of a levee on the Black River. Um, and we had several catastrophic failures here in Des Moines in 1993. I do feel for you. Uh, some very serious business. Um, Another story, uh, winter returns, wind, rain, and snow. Uh, it's back, the it's, it's turned back the calendar week, back to November. A series of storms will rush into western Washington from the Pacific this week, bringing dreadful weather. A series of, um, western Washington will be under a wind advisory from noon to 9 p.m. Monday expected winds 20 to 30 miles an hour and gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Expect rain Monday through the week. The National Service has forecast temperatures in the lower 50s through the week and a chance of rain each day. Uh, so they're probably talking snow. Yeah, weather system will bring more snow to the mountains where there is a winter weather advisory until 5 a.m. on Tuesday. Uh, probably already happened when you watch this. And uh, let's see. A strong shallow earthquake hits eastern Indonesia. This was back on the 24th. That was at 6.2. Over to the extinction protocol. Um, they've got a story on uh, the March 11 tsunami and how it happened. They got a video attached. Uh, Chilean coastal seafood industry devastated by March 11th Japanese tsunami. April 25th, Chile, thousands of miles off uh, from the shores of Japan across the Pacific Ocean, Chilean shellfish farmers are facing an uncertain future after the giant wave traveled the seas and washed away their scallop beds. Uh, now they're reporting that uh, there was a big undercurrent and it, it, it just rolled everything up and then um, all their nets and all their scallops are just laid waste at the bottom of the ocean and uh, their harvest is pretty much shot and uh, that's all we need right another hit to the food earthquake tremor swarms rattles Malta Italy a series of five earth tremors with the first occurring around midnight were felt in various locations in Malta yesterday as reports of shaking and objects moving on the shelves reached this newspaper uh, they're saying they had a bunch of threes and uh, it's, a, it's a fairly active region. And they've got a scare story. Scientists assess risk of Cascadia mega fault rupture. And that is off the coast of uh, Oregon, Washington State, uh, British Columbia. And then they've got a story. Dr. Helen Caldicott, The Dangers of Nuclear Power. Uh, with a video attached, uh, basically the risks of low-level radiation exposure and um, what it means to us and the nuclear industry. <clears throat> so they've got another, no, oh, that's the 6.2, that's about from the extinction protocol today. Uh, now the watchers, they have uh, reports out of the Netherlands, Easter Sunday, 2011, warmest on record and then they've got another story uh, that the tornado hit that the airport in St. Louis uh, was officially classified as an F4 the strongest of the year so far to date and uh, that's a lot of tornadoes so far to date if everybody's paying attention and then they've got the final story Kamachka four volcanoes on orange alert level And that is about it for me tonight. Um, again, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, put your comments or attach your videos below, of course. And, uh, you know, enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.